Well, good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm cycling if you haven't noticed. Whew. It's, uh, it's a very cold one today. Uh, I am heading for Stoke. I'm going to have a look around Stoke today, but I'm doing it by bike because the missus still isn't well enough to drive and uh, we're going to see what's occurring in Stoke you know I decided to do this video last night because everything on YouTube seems to be boring at the minute You know, all these boring live streams. You know, same old, uh, same old trash live streams that I can't be, uh, I can't be bothered with. Make sure you ring your bell, guys. It's been a while since I've done this. And you'll hear the squeak of my suspension. My bike isn't too healthy, but it is rideable. Um, yeah, if you've noticed, guys, I have come away from uh, the live streams for the last few weeks now. Um, and we've sort of moved over to Discord, um, which I will put the link in the description for you to join the discord which is a much better place than than live streams you know i don't want to be sort of like everybody else you know i see these live streams going on and it's uh, the youtube live streams and uh, you know it's just it's just people sitting in their house with a spliff in the mouth fucking talking shit um making views out of the misery that's going on in in Gaza at the minute and I just don't want to be part of that to be fair so uh, we've come away from it we've headed for discord where it can be a, a bit more social you know a bit more about having a laugh about normal day-to-day -day stuff you know what I mean you can share some um, pictures and you can uh, share some uh, some of your date what you're doing in the day and a bit more like Facebook sort of thing shall we say rather than the same old trash that goes on on YouTube so if you want to join us on discord guys in the description box there is the link we do have some fun on there um, nothing serious um, head across there if you're getting bored of YouTube which I certainly am bored of the live stream should I say uh, but anyway enough about that um, I shan't say too much but we are ready for Stoke we're almost there we'll come off at the next bridge and then we'll have a look at what's going on in Stoke a follow up to auditing Stoke we'll see if anything's changed has it got better, has it got worse we shall see so we can see uh, that the, the new uh, capital and centric hub in Stoke is coming along quite nice uh, They've actually um, done quite a lot on this so far, to be fair. I think there's going to be some form of marina for the boats. It's going to be like sort of shopping on the bottom, then set up set of flats, things like that. And that like a hub. Um, you know, it's looking, <coughs> it's looking quite good at the minute. Busy, busy, busy. 
Well, this here, guys, is summit we videoed last time, and it was an overgrown mess. Um, that's on the video, Auditing Stoke, which we'll tag to the end of the, the video, uh, of this video. Uh, go back and watch it, and you'll see where I videoed this, and it was a right mess. Um, we reported that, so it looks to me like they've actually took that on board and got something done. So that's good. That's a good thing. So this is where we were before, where we saw all the um, crackheads and stuff, right by the Salvation Army. So we'll go and take a look. All right, mate. Um, you can see quite a lot of them around the mess is still here um, still a lot of crackheads around um, lots of broken glass but I'm actually cycling on the the path because this road is one way um, <laughs> this one way system in Stoke is a pain in the arse but I think I'm going to try and rejoin it. Uh, but yeah, that's where we were before, where we saw all the, the crackheads. Um, I'm going to cycle along here, guys, and see what's sort of cracking off down here. So we reported a lot of this mess when we were here last. And we can see that... He has report, so it didn't make a difference. Um, it's all down here, all mixed in with the, the dead leaves now. Um, terrible, isn't it? Let's just go along a bit further. Uh, yeah, and we can see all this here, all that mess there. Bags of dog poo down there. Look at all these cars parked on the pavement. I know I'm cycling on the pavement, guys, so I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite there, but come on, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So here we are on the road, riding through Stoke. On the one-way system. <laughs> on the one-way system and I'm going <laughs> my wife says to me avoid the road fucking hell mate not bad <laughs> what a dickhead, eh? What an absolute fool. <sighs> What's going on here? All going to work. All the council workers. The money grabbers. The money grabbers. So we are sort of approaching the centre of Stoke. Uh, and I'm just wondering which way to go. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go up. And we'll take a look around the main bit of the town centre, I think. Uh, let's see if it's bustling like it used to be um, 
doesn't really look that way does it take your time guys show you across here see Cornwall's chemist which is just across there is 24 hour access and that's because of the amount of smack heads that we have around uh, around Stoke that need their methadone 24 7 and uh, probably the taxpayer pays for that unbelievable Unbloody believable, eh? Ha <laughs> ha, I see that, guys. That was a good nifty little bit of a uh, bit of cycling now, on it? I'm gonna go up here, I think. And we'll take a look up here. Oh dear. Let's have a look what's happened here. Oh my lord guys, oh my lord. I reckon this car's abandoned. They've crashed it, abandoned it. Oh dear. Now, that's a little bit fucked, isn't it guys? That's a little bit fucked. So I found myself down this alleyway here. Uh, don't know where it sort of leads to because I've never been down here before. But what I did notice is we've got a bit of fly tip in there. Um, be the looking of it guys I reckon that might be from some form of takeaway house uh, yeah more fly tipping uh, yeah so I'm in a few of the back alleys in Stoke and look just fucking shit in it I bet if you looked hard enough you'd find the remnants of drugs um, but I'm a bit weary of sort of coming down these places because I might end up with glass in my tyres and we don't want that although I have got you know all the necessary equipment on me uh, to repair it but I'd rather not yeah it's a shame because um, these are some quite nice houses. Look at that one there. Pretty big board on the window. You know what I mean? That's, they've been busted. You can guarantee that. Um, but yeah, what a shame, eh? eh that uh, pl places like this, they, that they put a lot of um, undesirables in and then they just absolutely trash the area or people from not from this country that bring over sort of their ways of living as in they tend to you know the rubbish goes wherever it goes sort of thing and this is how a lot of these alleyways end up um fucked basically um that's what i think anyway it just seems that way from my point of view I've just spotted this alleyway here guys and let me tell you I shall definitely be watching where my wheels go um, look at this old building here look at that it's fucked isn't it it's fucked but clearly someone uses it and then if we sort of move along a little bit look at all this there oh my lord Oh my lord, I'll guarantee in this mattress somewhere, I bet the rats have sort of dug a hole in their inside there living and breeding. Maybe coming out of this building here as well. But I'll take it all the way through this alleyway uh, because it's an absolute shocker. And this is what I'm saying. 
some people that come over here don't live in their country like we live over here and that's I'm not I'm trying to word it in a way that I don't sound sort of racist I'm just trying to say that that it, 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 that is what it is unfortunately um, but also you get the undesirables the English undesirables that you know get put in a property by councils and support workers and things like that and they just go and absolutely trash the place where they're living uh, so it's a mix of both really um, look at all this here look at that now that hasn't been there for just a, a day or so has it that's been there for uh, for some time looks like just here they're either building a new business or maybe more sort of flats um, I think that might just possibly be flats which I would probably say will end up with more undesirables in no doubt um, maybe people not from this country and the odd few English people that seems like that's the way it sort of goes when it comes to these sort of um, new builds around uh, Stoke so we're just coming up on Swan House now I think that this was the old place where you used to go and sort your housing benefit out um, I'm not sure what it is now uh, so we'll go in sort of um, don't really want to get sort of too close to it because I know there's sort of people in there doing their doing whatever they need to do um, but it just says welcome to the restart scheme um, so I'm not sure what that means so I don't think it is for housing benefit anymore I think that's more of a an online sort of thing I'm not sure uh, because I don't do it so I don't know <laughs> uh, but yeah I mean you can you can see like how Stoke used to be great um, but now it's not you know what I mean it's just an absolute shite show really in it that's what I think anyway so apparently if we go to Stoke we have a cultural quarter now I've just ridden round Stoke and I don't think there's a cultural quarter around there. Look like a shithole to me. So guys, I'm back on the canal towpath now. Um, I think I've finished with Stoke. Um, my thoughts of Stoke are that did we make a difference since we last went down there and audited the place? No, I don't think we did. I think it's just the same. Um, now, I did contact Stoke on Trent City Council. I did send them <coughs> clips of the video. I did report everything on Love Clean Streets. Um, you know, I did try to make a difference. Uh, look at this shit all up here, guys. You know what I mean? And this, this is another thing. Look at all that rubbish that's in there. Now, the responsibility of this is actually the Canal and River Trust, um, which is very close to here, to be fair. And obviously us as taxpayers pay into that. And, uh, you know, they don't do their job either. So it's another good example of 
your taxpayers money not being used do you see what i mean uh, not being not being used for this what i would say is almost like in stoke-on-trent like it's a it's a litter pandemic should i say because everywhere you go in stoke-on-trent there's litter there's fly tipping um and it's even down on the canal towpath and the canal on river trust really should um they should be picking up the litter especially that litter that's there because that's clearly been there for a long time and like i said we as taxpayers we pay into this system here um it's another thing that people don't realize that they pay and this is why the canals and the towpaths are open to us as walkers as cyclists as dog walkers all that sort of stuff runners um is because taxpayers money get put into this um and you know when you when you're paying into summit you expect to see where the sort of the money is going and be looking at that little bit of rubbish and i reckon i could probably find more if i went on more of a further run um you can see that it's not it's not really spent very well so you know but yeah i know it was a short sort of tour round stoke but still shit hole you know towpath is a shit hole so uh, i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me guys uh, we should uh, look at this shit hole here guys look at this look at all this do you know what i mean i mean and what don't we see we don't see a bin in sight do we do you know what i mean this is your taxpayers money this is uh we we pay in to the uh canal and river trust so we expect this litter to be cleaned up and i bet there's drug paraphernalia in there too so i suppose the canal and river trust as well can be accused of not using the taxpayers money correctly which i don't think they do i've never thought they've they've done it. i don't think they deserve it um well that's for another time guys that's for another time uh, but yeah i hope you've enjoyed coming along with me um julianne my wife um i'd like to do a little sort of direct message to her and say happy anniversary i love you a lot um and look at this again guys look at this look at that it's fucking disgusting isn't it do you know what i mean well done canal and river trust you're just as bad as stoke on trent council no wonder we've got a bad name in stoke on trent eh? no wonder they're just as dirty as the council the canal and river trust are just as filthy um but anyway guys uh, you know my wife should be back on her feet at some point um and then uh, next year we're going to be hitting it hard guys and bringing you as much content as we possibly can um just while julianne's recuperating after she's had a bad time with health um we're just going to do the odd video here and there until next year and then we're going to hit it hard bring you as much content as we can all various vlogging of all different stuff um as you remember guys join us on discord um the link will be in the description it really is a good place guys i can't tell you how how uh, good it is um and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it and i will see you on the next one